Grain bowls are my go-to for most meals. I love them for breakfast, lunch, dinner. The thing I love about them is that they are fully customizable. So it's a great way to use up any leftovers you have in the fridge. It's just a basic ratio of a cooked grain with vegetables, usually a protein. It could be plant-based, it could be an animal protein, and a healthy fat. So this is a really, really fun grain bowl. This one's inspired by the flavor and texture of sushi. It's delicious, and you're not breaking out a sushi rolling mat. So peel one hard-cooked egg, put this guy over here, and then just slice it in half. So I'm also using tuna in this recipe, so if you wanted to skip on the egg, that's fine. Who doesn't love an egg, though, in the grain bowl? Next up, we're gonna have a really thinly sliced cucumber. I like using these little Persian guys. I find that they're really sweet, and these are available in those really convenient packs of five or so in the grocery store. I'm seeing them everywhere. With the grain bowl, I always like to combine textures of cooked vegetables and raw vegetables. It just keeps it interesting, definitely keeps it more healthy for you. While I'm on the board here, I'm gonna slice up this lime and get the dressing started. So I have two teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce. to Give it a little zing. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of fresh lime juice. If you didn't have lime, lemon's really delicious. I think lemon and soy sauce are such a nice combination. Kinda add the other guy. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We just want a nice balance of that really, really intense salty flavor from the soy sauce and the brightness of the lime. To this, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Kind of round it out, get that nice, healthy fat. Little whisk. Mmm. -mm. That tastes great. So let's assemble here. Couldn't be easier. I'm starting with a cup of cooked short grain brown rice. Love short grain brown rice, really great texture, nice nutty flavor. To that, we'll start by adding some vegetables. I have shelled edamame. Shoot for about a handful or so. That's probably about half a cup. This is blanched and shelled edamame. So convenient. You can just keep it in your freezer. Great source of protein. To that, add some cooked tuna. So I'm a huge fan of tuna in olive oil, packed in olive oil. I think it's just really tasty, really succulent, tender. You could also use canned sardines here. So this is our, our seafood component. This is also a great use of any leftover seafood you might have had from the night before. So flaked salmon, shrimp would be delicious here. The nice thing about using the canned varieties is that you don't have to cook it. So this is great if you don't have a lot of time for lunch. Okay. To that, add the fresh cucumbers. Delicious. Nice and crunchy. We'll add the egg. Don't forget to season the egg with salt and pepper. Okay, looking good. Just a couple more items. We have toasted sesame seeds. This adds a really nice crunch, nice sort of nutty bite. Sprinkle those on. And then our lime soy dressing, just right over the top here. We'll start there and see, see if we need more. Now for the finishing touch, the nori. I promised you no sushi rolling mats. So just take one sheet of nori. They're available in these, these big sort of squares. I find cutting them with scissors is just super easy, especially if your cutting board has any moisture on it. So cut it into little strips like so. And fine julienne. I love the seaweed here. It adds a nice bit of texture, nice little hit of salt. And it wouldn't be a sushi grain bowl if we didn't have a little bit of seaweed in it. All right, that looks great. So we'll just sprinkle this on top. Oh man, this looks so good. Can't wait to try it. Chopsticks optional, but it's definitely, it tastes better if you eat it with chopsticks. This is something that you could pack in the morning and take to work with you. It does really well to sort of stand and let the dressing marinate all the different components, or you can just dig in straight away. Mmm, that is tasty. Fresh, flavorful, and fast. No need for takeout. If you want to see more recipes like this, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel.